Who we allow into this house is really none of your concern. You're the one who really doesn't belong here. You're still as stupid as ever, and I'm going to prove it to you by giving you exactly what you want. Only this time, I'm not going to hold back. I really didn't mean to put him in the yard. He should really learn to keep his guard up. Miss Hunda, you're hurt. Please, just go away. That's just rude. And besides, there's something I have to do. Yuki, while I'm here, it's a better chance to deepen our bond as brothers. I have a better idea. How about drowning you in the lake? Anything, as long as it allows us to spend some quality time together. On second thought, go drown yourself. I didn't even realize that we were being so loud. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Come now, it wasn't so bad. You could show a little more forgiveness towards your own brother. Allow me to explain what happened. I was on my way here when a sudden chill in the air caused me to transform. In my search for heat, a warm body drawing near. Naturally, I clung to it. I guess you could say it was instinct. Greetings, everyone, and how have you been? If I had my way, we would have told you about this much sooner. I wanted you to go to that wedding and steer her away from the idiot of a fiancé. But Shiguri kept me from saying anything. Well, I for one can't tolerate this. You're my friend, so I realize my opinion is biased. But even so, with what she has done to you, it's unacceptable. I can't stand it. She left you behind to suffer with your memories of her. Shut up. Quit shouting like you're king of the world. Now I got some common sense for you. If I were a tie, it wouldn't change who I am. If I had no piercings, it wouldn't mean I'm nice. Who do you think you are anyway? Do you think you're God, huh? No one asked you, you stupid cat. Why do I feel so exhausted? This is Yingsword 9X auditioning for Fruits Basket fandom. Thanks for watching.